Hey there, guys. Bradley and Jason here from Herd Mentality. And we're doing today our final impressions on the GRI-58. Indeed. And I put them in a nice little green case. Green armored case. Why? They actually don't deserve it. But they look pretty enough to be in there. What can I say about these? I have been... On the fence about them. I have hated them. I have loved them. Then I hated them again. And then I love them again. And here we are. And you're, you're talking mostly about the uh, sound, of course. Oh, but yeah. No, I mean, I love the look. Mine, like, mine giving a little bit of detail. Like, it, it seems to be, I, I think the most literal translation of what you just said would be a love-hate relationship. Yeah. And what, what do you want to say about that? Well, so there's... <laughs> okay, so backstory. I've been using this on and off for about a week or two now, and uh, the love and hate started ever since I opened up the box. The sound alone, at first it was just horrid, absolutely just tinny and shrill, no low end. I put on the, uh, the really nice, comfy small tips that they come with uh dual flange and uh, i was like okay they're they're comfy they have good isolation but and, and the mids Wait, they are came, there they came with dual flange they yeah, came, with dual flange, they, they came okay. with they came with dual flange yeah yeah um not like your normal dual flange but really tiny dual dual flange and uh, I was thinking to myself, wow, that is, they're, they're comfy, they have good isolation. And then I started listening to them for long extended periods, and I went, oh, they chafe a little bit. So I had to go yeah, back we, to yeah. using Yeah, my we did detail, detail that in the, in the video before. It did uh, yeah. end up kind of hurting your ears a little yeah, bit. It did make it a little bit sensitive. I couldn't use any sort of like uh, IEMs after them. But... You know, I put on triple flange and they, they felt good. I listened to them for a long, long, long time. I played GTFO with them and I was able to pinpoint where all of the clicky bastards are. Uh, the for those of you that are, uh, you know, are not aware, yeah, it's basically zombies that you, you're you in the dark. You have to find them based off of the, uh, the echolocation type of clicks that they kind of emanate once in a blue moon and a little bit of claustrophobic game, but basically you do have to use your, you have to be able to pinpoint sound often to know where they are. Yeah, and without, these without, do an amazing yeah. job at that. And so, I mean, for that reason alone, I was like, oh wow, you know, these are these are pretty good. And then I put them on and started listening to them again, and I went, no, they're not good. I started trying to listen to um. Oh, man, someone's texting me. But we're moving on because they're not important. You guys are important. You, right there. The ones that are staring through this camera on top of my head. You guys are important. So, these pretty good imaging and pretty good sound stage. Again, for an IM, they, 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 they are closer to your ear. So, you're not going to get that headphone effect. And you're, not, you're definitely not going to get that speaker effect. But oh, that kind good. of rumbling, that kind of shaking noise that you oft oftentimes get? No, no, no. Is more more of the, no? Like the openness of the sound. It doesn't feel like the sound's coming from inside your head. It feels like it's coming from outside. Oh, yeah. it's Yeah, yeah. you're actually having to, having to hear it. And so it's going yeah. straight into it. Yeah. No, I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, I, I thought they had no bass. Piss, piss job. Yeah. You know, I, I thought they had no bass for the longest time. And no, they have bass. It's what uh? What okay. changed for that? Like, what changed? Was the triple flanges? Did you mess around with the settings? Triple flange, and I shoved them as deep and as far into my head as possible. That's it. Oh, so basically the triple flanges. Yeah, triple flange. That's it, it's just it's changing just, the ear it's... tips. Changed the and at least allowed you to kind of experience what, what bass there was. Yeah, yeah, and and the bass is not. Uh, anything to scoff at it's definitely not a base head's dream it's it's not th this is not a base base head i am in fact i could just i could describe the sound by describing how they look they're really pretty but they're not trying too hard it's sort of a relaxed pretty you know uh they sound very relaxed 
And to be Would fair, you... hmm? okay. No, uh, go ahead. When you say relaxed and such, what would you mean, like in terms of like the actual like uh, how do you say uh, sound levels and such that it hits? What what is that? So relaxed, per se? relaxed would be more of a. It it does have a little bit warmer signature, so a little bit more bassy, push towards the maybe low mids and the high bass, but they're not messing around with the sub bass at all. The highs are not as peaky as I thought they were at first. And I guess that's because of the triple flange putting the bass, you know, putting the sound closer to my eardrums and um, helping it round out and become fuller. And it's definitely also, makes it... Hmm? Sorry, do you think that this is also due to... Uh, you mentioned before the the mental and the both the both mental and physical breaking period is this could this also be a factor as to why uh, you kind of start beginning to notice this uh the the base. issue the issue with going with the down the mental route the mental burning route is you you end up if you listen to something so long your mind ends up tweaking the sound for you to make it sound what you want and so you got to watch out about that i'm lucky to have tons of different iems to just pick and choose from while I'm listening so I can go through and not have a mental burn-in period, quote-unquote. But um, the physical burn-in uh, definitely helped these out a lot because at first they, they were just shouting treble. And then after that, they were fine. Though, and then though I granted the... the uh, oh, okay. Yeah, and then I changed the chips. Yeah, and yeah, were, and then that chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Though, granted, the, uh, the mental burn-out period is... You can effectively say, without a doubt, it's definitely different for every person out there. Uh, it, it is different, is but that, it's, 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 it's different. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. It, it, it does uh, take a little bit of time, maybe over the course of maybe an hour or two. That's it. On average. You know, some may go up to like five hours. Some may be like the first 10 minutes you listen to these things and you're like, okay, Boom, they're inside my mind, and now I'm tweaking the audio. and I'm EQing them in my mind. So, yeah. But they, they sound very relaxed to me. They're, they're high. Okay, if I have to pull something out. Uh, Jade. They're a little bit wider than the Jades. And the, the Jades are, I, I have a bounce cable on the Jades. They're a little bit wider than the Jades. They do retain detail, but they're not as detailed as, say, the singers, and they're not as detailed as the moon drops, they're not as detailed as anything else. They don't... It's not that they don't have a lot of detail, it's just it's not its emphasis. Right? It's it, not its forte, you could say. Well, no, no, I mean, they have the detail there. I mean, you could hear the individual pops and crack. Like, there's a track that I was listening to, um, Campfire Cologne. And at the beginning of the track, there's, there's a, uh, a sort of... They put a microphone right next to Campfire. And you could hear the individual pops and cracks of the wood. You could hear that sort of wind rustling on the back of the microphone like this. But with my Ship 9500s, it felt like I was sitting in front of the campfire instead of the campfire was inside my head. So in other words, it does what it does, it does pretty okay, pretty well. But yeah. there are other things out there that do it much better. Oh, yeah. And at either the same price point or different price points, I... I hate to say it, but I do enjoy the sound because of it's it's so relaxed. I do enjoy the sound because these are fifty bucks more than my Tin T twos, but that's not the reason why I got Tin T twos. The reason why I got the Tin T twos were because of its just overall. It's very good at pretty much everything aside from being relaxed. Like these tons of detail. Great signature, just across the board. You know, it has a little bit of low end that you just need for that thump thump whoop whoop. The mids are they're there the, in the mix. They're there, and then the highs, they're soaring, absolutely soaring. So, but I like these more. They're they're not dark sounding by any means, but they're relaxed. It's so. Like, Okay. Mm -hmm. No, 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 go, go no, on, go no, on. Go I, I, I'm sorry, I thought that was a 
cue. I thought that's no, cute, but... go, no, go okay. ahead, man. Go ahead, man. All right. Now that we've, and I can just let you detail more on it in, in a second here, but now that we've more or less looked at, you know, what it does with sound, how you, how it kind of chalks up with other, uh, other IEMs that you've you've definitely uh, used and looked at. Yeah. After this kind of extensive uh, use of it, what can you say about like? Does it have a niche in certain types of music genres? Because I know every IEM kind of has their own yeah, place um, that it belongs. For me, I've been listening to a lot of like. Okay, maybe it's just me being on a a, a country binge, a hip hop binge, I guess you would say. But uh, I've been listening to a lot of like. Deenum Jones and um, Moonshine Bandits and, and a lot of the older stuff because the older stuff it was a little more chill a little more subdued like yeah they, they come in with a little bit of rap and whatnot but it was a lot of acoustical a lot of just you know vocal stuff it was there wasn't just a whole bunch of can beats and loudness everywhere there, there was some dynamics in the song and um, these do really well with acoustical stuff they do well with guitars they do incredibly well in that mids section um uh, a soundtrack timber hearth the timber hearth soundtrack from oh no sorry not Tim, timber hearth was the song but the soundtrack is from uh, outlands outerlands uh, let me go pull this up yeah outer wild sorry my bad timber hearth and these things sounded like the guitars were just kissing my eardrums just kissing my eardrums. Just just little ding, ding. Just kissing my eardrums. And I just, oh, oh. It felt nice. But then again, I put on the moon drops and went, moon drops. And I went back to these and I went, okay, okay, you know, moon drops, they're like double the price. Okay, you know, not even a contest. I can still see that. But then I put on the, uh, the jades and I went, Okay, but they're jades. They're they're using knolls. They're 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 fancy, affordable, fancy IEMs. So so maybe there's a saving grace, and I did, I did find a saving grace. So because of what it can do better, than well, not some that it does IEMs, better. It, it, it just does it differently. It does it differently. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you said you listen to a lot of country, a lot of acoustic guitar. Yeah. Uh, how would I'm not sure if you did uh, use the uh, GRI 58s to listen to any of this kind of stuff, but what can you say about like I, I'm not sure like not R&B, but something R &B? more acoustic, maybe maybe R&B or maybe uh like classic rock. How would that hold up? Uh, to be fair, I don't, I don't think I've listened to much classic rock, but I did listen to Linkin Park. I don't know if that counts. That um, would really be pushing the. I don't think that's classic. No, right. that's all. That's alternative. You'd be really that's pushing actually, that pill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, is, that's, that's a little bit. That's a little bit going too far. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely alternative. You can call it kind of in its own right a classic because it's been around for so long. And... I mean, they are classic, and you know, rest in peace, Chester. Um, oh yes. Yeah. Chester. Yeah. For, forever, but... forever may you be remembered because you are the mad lad. You are. Oh God, I. Why did he have to go we leave all, us? We all miss Chester. Yeah, oh, yeah, we all do. We all do. Um, oh, uh, shout out to Chester's side. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'd say, so you haven't used it for uh, any sort of like classic rock, like ACDC. Uh, well, let's see. God, like, I, I, I listen to it all the time. But... Uh... ACDC, Def Leppard, uh, Floyd, the, uh, maybe Floyd, Poison. Yeah. Uh, just about those kinds of things out there. Uh, no, I, I'm, honestly, for some really reason, on this, genre in, in well, no, no, general. no, honestly, these kind of steered me away from them. Really? Because I put them on with Linkin Park and I went, oh, no. That was bad. Why, what can you, what can you, uh, what can you say about uh, that? Because it is still rock in its own right. Well, well, it's because Linkin Park is all this, like, heavy sounds that are just at you and you just don't get that feeling of aggressive sounds at you because these are so relaxed true but certain parts of rock such as you know grateful oh grateful dead grateful dead yeah. you know definitely oh they definitely wait, wait 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 no no i got it i got oh. it this is where it shined oh. okay five finger death punch really yes five finger death punch yeah 
and you were just saying something about you know uh, hard music and all that and how yeah no no but but some of, well. but a lot of five finger like yeah. the ones that I've heard that, they're just, actually pretty yeah, chill. Just go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, some of the more chiller uh, yeah. tracks on their on their uh, you know playlist. There are a good number of more acoustic, less uh, you know. How do you say? Yeah, I guess I could say like less messed with music in terms of like electric guitar and you know tuning and you know yeah. electronic parts of the songs. No, no, but like the one so that you really def- shined on was "Wrong Side of Heaven." Oh yes, it definitely, really definitely. shined on that. Like so. With that said, yeah, I'm thinking we still haven't touched on like really in terms of uh, the review. You haven't really touched on classic rock in its own right because it seems to be you're kind of like hitting little slightly left and right in terms of the things you've been listening to. Yeah, no, it's but, it's I never hit right in the center apparently. But what I can gather is in terms of classic rock being that it's more. Yes, there's a lot of like. Just know, do not use it for any Bon Jovi guitars, tracks amps and all that. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. Put that there. Just don't use it for Bon Jovi. <laughs> well, for things that are a little bit more acoustic, I'm sure it would perform pretty well. Oh yeah, I mean, I was listening to um, that Hey Ya thing that I, I sent, I, I showed you. You know, with the uh, thank God for Mom and Dad for sticking two together. Because and the guy goes really low. Don't know how. You know, yes, it's a, a country remix of that. Oh God, folk. I can't it's more that. folk than country. A, a folk, yes, a folk yeah. remix of a uh, old two thousands. Uh, yeah. Avi Kaplan song. and the Sequoias. Avi and the Sequoias. Um, yeah, those the, these these did really well with that. I really, I was just like, oh, I was just getting into it. I was vibing, dude. I was vibing so hard. I really was. Um, Also, now that we've uh, kind of went through some pros and cons, you said yourself, and I'm gonna kind of bring this, kind of bring this full circle. You said to yourself there was a very complicated hate love relationship. You, yeah. you said you like I hated it, I loved it, I hated it, I loved it. So, were you're there? I, there must have been points where you started liking it a lot, and then all of a sudden something happened, and you didn't like it for a certain thing. You know, I'm I'm always going back to this one track because for some reason this one track either screws with an IEM or doesn't do anything to it or makes the IEM let shine. Nate, let me guess, 1979. 65. 65, I'm 1965. sorry. 1965. <laughs> 1979, Whoops. what the hell happened in 1979? Probably a lot, Lord, actually. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not smart enough. Not, not 1965, not because on certain IEMs, like my F9, a bullet whizzed right the fuck over my head. Excuse my French. Demonetized. <laughs> oh, boy. A bullet raised right over my head and a jet flew the other way. So right as the bullet flew over my head, the jet flew the other way. And I went, oh, I feel that. And I ducked. I went, oh. But every other IM that I've heard, that's not the F9s, I'm going, all right, the bullet kind of started in the center right maybe two feet behind me and then it ended like two feet in front of me <laughs> but the f9 for some reason it felt like it came from a mile away and i almost got hit can can you say that uh and these the, the ladder like, yeah the ladder is what the gri 58 is 58 is no no it's actually the former the, the that's former. The, yeah that's the reason why i don't like these sometimes because that song, I have a playlist of songs I just like to listen to, um, you know, recording, editing, or hanging out on League, or just in a voice call with Bradley or whomever we're with. And songs would come up, and sometimes I'm just like, I love the song, Skip, because I can't listen to it. 1965 has this little portion where um, it's the, the second, the second um, verse, right? The second verse. Yeah. Right before the chorus, there's a strumming. And just like with the singers, and the singers did the same thing, that strumming gets kind of just grating. Just absolutely grating. And I love the song. Is it too loud? 
it's slightly too loud. It's like something is it's pushed ever so slightly up, and all you hear is. That's all you hear, and imagine hearing that while this guy's trying to go on about you know nineteen six his you know someone's grandfather who's served in Nam and all this other stuff, and all you hear is on either side of your head just screaming into your ears. That's it. So I had to skip that track almost constantly unless there it's a super low volumes, and even then you can just barely hear the guy singing and you can hear that's it so i uh you gotta watch out for those high mids um yeah no but aside from that i mean it, there, there's other problem tracks out there and I'm, I'm forgetting what they are but that's kind of where the love hate stemmed from is just unlike my moon drops which makes everything sound pleasant unlike the jades which makes things sound okay these things are very polarizing they're like the singers they're very polarizing they either are good with the song or really really bad at least for me again audio is very subjective what works for my ears may not work for your ears may not work for bradley's ears or it could who knows Say some something that I just remember. You while we were discussing the uh, GRI fifty eights, you did discuss that you kind of had second thoughts on the look, especially the wire. In in by itself, like I can't exactly remember why, but if you would care to go on oh, some details. Oh, so uh, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, the second thoughts on the look is just no. I mean, I I like the aesthetic of it. I like the build quality. I like the isolation. I like all personally. The yeah, stuff. I, I like the uh, aesthetic. But quite the a bit. wire is. And uh, white. Which actually kind of works with the look of it. But the issue is, you get any dirt on a white wire. I mean, how hard is it to get a stain off of a white shirt? Might as well throw away so, the shirt and buy a new one. The wire's the same so way. You leave it out in the more, sun too uh, long. Okay. Yeah, you leave it out in the sun too oh. long. It might yellow. And now you, it looks like someone took a piss on your wire. And you get to that. I mean, I've had tips, so, clear okay, tips that okay. turn yellow. But sorry, go yeah. on. So this is more of from a, a more functional aspect. Yeah. Or mindset. Yeah, but I mean, the wire is cheap, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you could probably find replacement wires that are just as good. And to be fair, they don't look too bad with black. And like again, I I like to have ear tips that match the wires. So if I have something that's more black and stealth look, I have black triple flange. If I have something that's white, I have clear triple flange. If I have something that's this weird, you know, gray copper thing, well, I don't use it because I don't have anything that fits those connectors. But I would use black because it goes with kind of the aesthetic, you know, it has the silver with the black and then the silver and the copper and they might as well put some black ear tips on. But for these, I almost exclusively ran them with white on the white wire because they look the best on it. And a lot of a lot of it is does come down to, you know, the aesthetic value of it. Like these things we said before, very pretty, very pretty. Not as pretty as my moon drops, but oh no, no, those are definitely a good, good looking pair of oh, yeah, no, pair of gorgeous. Yeah, yes. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. So yeah. the 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 cable. I mean, I don't go outside all that often, so with the Karunga Bunga. But when I do, I usually reach for my singers because it's easier to put in, take out. You know, I can wear them in so many different ways. Sometimes when I need extra isolation, I put on my F9s. Sometimes when I just want to enjoy myself while chopping down a tree and deforesting the area, I throw on the moon drops. And there are other times when I'm checking on the garden at night to make sure any rats, rodents, you know, gophers, gerbils, or the neighborhood dog doesn't get into my garden. <laughs> moon drops. Because who doesn't want to stare up at the night sky? Stars everywhere. And feel like you're up there. That's what the moon drops do. But these, on the other hand, makes me feel sleepy. 
they make me feel really relaxed. This is one of those like sitting by the the fire and just like curled up with warm uh, curled up with a warm blanket and a book and maybe some tea next to the fire. And down to the final point, probably the most important point. Mm-hmm. Sure, this this could fit the bill for what other people are looking at and what other people are trying to look for. Yeah, we never know because everybody's kind of different, as you mentioned before. But in the end, for this, I'm sorry, what was the price tag on these? On these games? fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Forty nine oh, ninety nine. Funny, I just, I just. Uh, Looked on the Linso website. I just actually checked it out while we were talking, and it's actually on sale for thirty nine ninety nine. Interestingly yes, enough, so it's on sale for thirty nine ninety nine because Linso everything is like thirty percent off right now. Interesting, because well, they're like, oh hey, we're actually making things again. Crap. Sorry about those old orders. Here you go. Have some discounts on us. So yeah, uh, Linso has some really good stuff. In fact, on Mass Drop at the time of recording. And by this time this goes up, it will be gone. But the blondes never get the blondes, by the way. The blonde BLO threes are twenty six dollars instead of their normal forty dollar price point on Amazon. And that's even cheaper than Linsel. On Linsel, well, I think they're thirty bucks or some of that. Bringing it back, the yeah. uh, GRI fifty eights are they worth the money invested into these? Are they worth the money? Well, you have to ask yourself to whom. Exactly. And to and whom are if, they? And if you really care about detail, no. Don't touch these. If you really care about base, no. Don't touch these. If you really care about having a something that you can show off that, you know, hey, these things are, these things are pretty. If you want that sort of fashion accessory that makes okay sounds, done. Stage work? Probably not. I wouldn't recommend this to a professional at all. I, I would sooner recommend the TRN V90s than these. And, so and what you're the saying V90s is have their whole host of problems. So for someone who's a bit more of a, you could say pedestrian or a start, a kind of a novice or a beginner in this kind of like whole realm of, you know, IEMs. Go high quality these. sound and such. Yeah, go with these. So this yeah, would be this would be a pretty good starter. Oh yeah, for gets sure. Familiar with all yeah, for sure. Um, again, there's nothing truly offensive with the sound, aside from you know those really certain frequencies. For some reason, they just my ears, my ear holes. But again, they. And they for are... someone someone like me that isn't as you know attuned to these frequencies, not as. Uh... How do you say? Oh, trust me, you'll notice. Focused on detail. Oh, oh trust I me, mean, you'll notice. You will notice. Really? Because I, I feel like I'm still somewhat of a beginner in my uh, journey. Well, I mean, road, I mean, you know? half of it is like, how much does it make you enjoy the track? Like, there, there are tracks, there are songs that I don't personally like. Rockstar, Post Malone. Moon Drops make me like them. Those tracks. Like what? Okay. Like what? I mean, don't get me wrong. Post Malone. I mean, <laughs> but like uh, Pompeii, Bastille, like Moon Drops. I liked it on it, and I don't like that song because it has very little substance, <laughs> um, and it's very predictable and. The only saving grace it has is that it has a sort of... It, it doesn't even matter. The only saving grace I have is be the nostalgia factor of me having to sing that. Um, no, I didn't really get to sing. I just mostly went... Do, 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 do. That's it. Uh, again, 90% uh, of why you should... Why I would recommend it is, can I enjoy the music that I like? If you enjoy folk, if you enjoy old school country, if you enjoy, um, actually acapella, by the way. 
Acapella does really well on these. Then yeah, 100% recommending. Jazz. Jazz sounds nice on this. But yeah. I think I think that's a good point to wrap up though. We've been going on for a little bit now. Quite a quite a bit actually. Yeah. Yeah, and we're both absolutely exhausted. Absolutely. So, should you get the guide rays or not? You know what? I say I would pick these over my tin T2s only because they're relaxed and I'm feeling tired. But if I'm feeling in the mood for just okay, I need all that detail, but I I just need that that detail with a little bit of uh, base. And I need aggressive, not open. I just, ah, I want all in my head. Uh, I'd probably go with the Tinty Twos. But if I want to just enjoy my music, bro, most things I would say are okay. As long as it makes sounds, it's not. So it's kind of a choose your own battles. And really, I, I don't want, as stupid as it sounds, consider we are uh, reviewing things that, you know, create sound. You know, listen to yourself. Yeah, pretty much. In other words. Go with your gut. If you like pretty things, well, there you go. It's pretty. If you don't like pretty things and you want something more stealth looking, go find something else. Like right here, Jade. Jade Audio. Review coming soon. Like, look, that's such a nice stealth look. Oh, my gosh. And before we give away too many details on this. <laughs> Guess we have to wrap up. Huh? How about... Yes, we definitely have to wrap up this video. So, well, this is uh, Brad from Herd Mentality and my good friend Jason here, the audio head. And we're going to say have a wonderful afternoon and thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed our content, please hit that like and that subscribe button down there. And really, we would love to hear any sort of feedback, any sort of questions, and again, any sort of uh, suggestions for whatever we should be uh, reviewing next. We would love to hear from the community and whoever is watching this. And you know what? Herd Mentality out. Thanks for watching.